Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the uh, Monday's trading, 17th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand and where are we headed? This is the question. Okay, uh, post um, uh, inflation data obviously coming weaker than expected, which in turn has spurred US equities to new highs on the back of interpretation that Miss Yellen was dovish during the week and therefore the inflation numbers will certainly look for her to be even more dovish going forward and therefore no rate hikes going forward and even a potential of tapering coming tapering being paired back as well and therefore obviously everybody wants to go into equities given the fact that uh, obviously this uh, fight against deflation or this reflation trade certainly has a long way to go and therefore that's probably the best way to, best place to be parking your money and that certainly seems to be the uh, the actual predominant thought process now overnight asian markets certainly give a mixed picture we had the nikkei more or less flat so again certainly isn't a vote of confidence for us equities from my perspective again i think uh, a lot of the uh, traders there a lot of investors really are from my interpretation uh, we shouldn't really be at new highs at all but the market does what it wants to do not what i want to do not what you want to do not what 100 experts think it's usually it does the opposite what the experts think so the market is a market and you just have to respect it and understand it and obviously adapt and adjust accordingly so put your ego to one side swallow your pride and carry on trading okay so asian markets overnight shanghai down 1.4 percent down 45 points the nikkei down like i said was only up 19 so again more or less flat and again the argument i put forward is it's not exactly a vote of confidence for us equities therefore the actual breakout on the s p 500 could uh, could very well be a potential fake out and we could get a sharp reversal, especially given the fact that the number of unfilled gaps that we have left behind that needs to be closed. I mean, one of the main gaps that we have here is at 24.24, <clears throat> and that was when Mr. Uh, Trump Jr. certainly got caught in the uh, in the actual meeting with the Russians trying to get dirt on Hillary Clinton. So again, we'll see if political uncertainty certainly weighs on sentiment. We also have the North Korean crisis as well. That's still obviously evident. A prevalent, a prevalent, and we also have the situation in Qatar certainly escalating with the UAE hacking into uh, Qatar. So, again, see what exactly what happens then, how the markets respond. In terms of economic data this morning, let's just quickly go through. Uh, you had the uh, Eurozone inflation data coming in stronger than expected, so again, it did weigh down the market. Uh, it, overnight, we had Chinese data coming in stronger than expected, so retail sales, GDP, okay, industrial production all coming in stronger than expected, and therefore that has helped. The uh, the, uh, the actual equity markets move higher, especially in the U.S. The uh, bulls certainly maintain the uh, the the higher ground, and uh, a stronger <coughs> China is generally bodes well for technology and investment and obviously global growth. So keep an eye on that. The Aussie and Kiwi still remain supported by stronger Chinese GDP, and we'll see whether or not that lasts. <coughs> Again, Europe certainly subdued to a large large extent. I mean, European stats at the moment you have the uh, CAC up seven points, the DAX actually negative. And the FTSE is up 40 and it's actually outshining its pairs due to the stronger Chinese data. Okay, so that certainly remains the status quo and that's the uh, concerns that we have. Uh, again, there is a uh, potential uh, intrusion into the Deutsche Bank, apparently to see where the money is coming from. Okay, US-China trade deals sputtering as well. Uh, German food processor profits got certainly uh, guided lower. Uh, US healthcare bill postponed, so again, it'll be interesting to see how the markets react to that. In the US session, and again, like I said, Eurozone inflation data certainly ticking high and as exerting pressure on Europe. Okay, so let's see where we stand, and uh, let's see where we are technically speaking, given the fact that I've given you the rundowns on the uh, the actual uh, technicals. Okay, so German DAX, let's start with the German DAX here first. Okay, so daily chart is still holding that resistance zone at uh, the 50%, certainly no conviction there, like I said. 60 minute jar actually has been weak today, it's certainly retraced at 12,540 and has subsequently bounced from there. I mean, the uh, the movement has been pretty impressive. I mean, opening up at 12,650 and then obviously selling off down 100 points and then reversing back up 70. So the German DAX certainly is volatile today. Okay, so if we take a pivot high from here, we can connect it to here. So again, if we do push high 12,650, it certainly looks like your resistance zone. Given the fact that we haven't made higher highs, we've actually in a lower low. That certainly is a negative sign from my interpretation. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, again slam banging to that uh, slam banging to that key resistance on the daily, 
into that 50 percent 60 minute chart and the FTSE at the moment has his inverted head and shoulders formation so just be wary of that okay potential target is 7455 10 minute chart we've certainly held resistance at this key 7426 7425 zone okay we've certainly broken out this key resistance here which was at uh, 7412 it'll be interesting to see how we respond once we retrace that and hit that level but for now you're certainly capped at 7425 7426 and you also have resistance at 7440 as well so again it'll be interesting to see how the markets respond french cac at the moment certainly capped at that key resistance at 5245 again stronger inflation data is certainly hurting the french cac's ability to move higher so again bear that in mind okay in terms of the euro stocks last but not least let's euro stocks key diagonal trend line resistance not certainly not being helped by the stronger inflation data in europe again it's trading sideways no real conviction certainly not pushing to new highs so from my perspective we've bounced off that 3505 pivot low certainly putting in a lower high so lower lows lower highs certainly remain the root of the game at present certainly isn't a bullish sign is it folks okay uh, and again this is why it certainly leads me to believe that the u.s equity potential breakout may well be a fake out we'll see exactly how that market responds okay i think that's a good summation for now Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. And like I said, please do visit Trade Signal, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers and download the latest app. Goodbye now.